uh, a steam engine. The engine produces W joules of work while at the same time the internal energy increased by delta U. What is the efficiency of this engine? So, um, similar to what we just did here, um, let's look at the efficiency. So, the W is really the useful energy output and the Q is the energy input. So, the definition of efficiency is um, W over Q times 100. Uh, but remember that delta U equals Q minus W. So we could change this into, uh, let's see, W over W plus delta U times 100%. And we can see that if delta U is not zero and Q is not zero and W is not zero, an interesting side note here is that efficiency must be less than 100%. Um, the only way it could be 100% is if this is zero. The only way this can really be zero is if these are zeros, which we can't really have. It's not actually possible to have something which is 100% efficient. And in fact, this is another way to state the second law of thermodynamics. And it's actually, as you can see, it's certainly if this was impossible then what I'm about to say next is definitely impossible that if this is a negative it would make uh, this greater than a uh, hundred percent which of course is uh, ridiculous so we can see from all of this uh, another result is that if the efficiency is less than a hundred percent it means the rise in internal energy is positive uh, if the rise in internal energy is positive, then it means the efficiency is less than 100%. So it's just uh, interesting, just the relationship between the two here.